Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how to use the dual light Photoshop action. Before we get started, let's view a few examples. With this action, you need to mark your main uh, subject image like this and then run the action. The action creates cool dual light effects and also adds additional smoke and bokeh effects. There are uh, in total nine smoke effects and three bokeh effects which you can customize. You can also change the color of this dual light to anything that you want. There are uh, infinite combination color combinations possible. Here's another example. You just need to mark the subject area and run the action. Here are a few other examples. You can very well hide this smoke and book effects if you like a cleaner approach. You can also keep the background visible as you can see in this image. There are 20 color presets included in this action with which you can change this dual light color effect. Okay, uh, now let's uh, load up our image. We'll be using this image. Uh, before we get started, we need to take care of a few things. Uh, go to this image mode and check your image is in RGB color mode and also 8 bits per channel is selected. Uh, next, click this flyout list and select panel options. Make sure use default masks on kill layers is checked and also add copy to copy layers and groups is also checked. Next your image must be a background lock clear like you if you did some operations like cropping or anything else and your image looks like this layer zero or something else you need to transform it into a background lock clear for the action to work properly. To do that go to layer new background from layer as you can see it has turned into a background lock clear. Now regarding image size, this action works fine with images having size of around 2500 pixels to 4500 pixels and resolution 72 to 300 pixels per inch. You can, if you have a lower size image, you can always increase the image size and if it becomes blurry after you apply the action, you can always reduce down to your original size. Next, uh, load up the action. To do that, go to Window, Actions. And as you can see, the action panel has loaded up. Now select this flyout menu and select load actions. Select the dual light Photoshop action, which comes in the download package, and click load. Next, let's load up the brush and the patterns. To do that, go to edit, presets, preset manager. Uh, select brush from this drop down list and select load. Select dual light brushes, which comes in the download package, and click load. Now, from this drop down menu, select patterns. And again, click load, select the dual light patterns which comes in the package and click load. Now, one thing we need to check is select this brush tool and make sure your, your opacity and flow, both of them are set to 100%. And your blending mode is also normal. These uh, two parameters must be set to 100% for the action to work properly. Now, if you're using Photoshop CC 2018, you have a smoothing parameter which you can set to anything that you want. If you have uh, Photoshop CC 2017 or uh, below, so this uh, smoothing option will not be available. So uh, it's it's fine. It, the smoothing option can be set to anything uh, to for the action to work properly. Now let's uh, create our subject area and mark our main uh, area where we want uh, the action to work. So to do that, create a new layer above this background. 
click this new layer icon and rename it as subject remember subject must be in lowercase for the action to work properly now uh, let's select the background and we'll quickly mark our main subject you can i'm using quick selection tool over here you can use anything you can use magic wand you can use a pen tool you can use anything that you want now with the main subject selected make sure you select the subject layer and fill it with any color i'm just taking a brush a round brush and a color and i'll fill it I'll quickly deselect it and fine tune the selections. Okay, now with the selection done, open your action panel, select the dual led Photoshop action, and just hit play. It'll take some time for the action to finish. We'll fast forward from here and get back when it's complete. So the action has finished uh, rendering this is our final uh, default effect i'll co quickly run this action on another image because i want to show the background uh, effect since this uh, image has a white background i'll take an image which has some background uh, like this one i'll use the selection i made earlier to quickly select Now I'll quickly run the action. Okay, so it has also finished rendering. Let's uh, have a look at our background elements. We have a background base color, which uh, you can change, but it's better kept black. And this is our background base. This is the original background that was there in the image. Okay, so I ran the action on this image just to show you the background base effect. So I'll now get back to our first image and see what uh, folders we have uh, over here. This is the background uh, light highlight. You can change it, double click it, you can scale it. You can change the style. I'll keep it radial. Now here we have background smoke and overly smoke. You can uh, simply show these layers. And there are six background smokes. You can mix and match. You can also add the overlay smoke. The smoke on the subject, in front of the subject. And you can also change the opacity of the smoke. Next we have the background bouquet elements. You can change the opacity of these book elements or you can move them around. Select the move tool and select the background bouquet folder and hit up down arrows. In CC 2018 you cannot just click and drag these uh, layers but you can move them around with up down arrows. 
next we have the image elements over here we have the main uh, bulk of the image so here we have another black and white adjustment a uh, few of this image has, retains the color uh, this one has its colors washed out but if you have the colors retained you can turn it to a black and white by uh, simply adjusting the opacity and uh, showing or hiding this layer next we have our dust elements let me zoom in a bit so that you can see here we have this dust small dust particles you can adjust the opacity or you can move them around the move tool I'm using the up and down arrows to move uh, if you have uh, these are patterns so you cannot move them with the uh, move tool in this CC 2018 if you have some lower version you can simply drag and move this one next we have our overlay okay we have three book over here it's the first one second one and third one you can take any one of this bouquet and you can take the move tool and you can move them around You can show multiple of them, add this opacity. Next, we have our main light elements. This is the left light, and uh, this one is the right light. You can expand these groups. We have let me show you the layer name properly so here we have right light over uh, over right overlay light more you can add this opacity to intensify the light on the right side and this is the left overlay light more you can increase the opacity to intensify the light on the left side you can also change the color of the light over here double click and change the light color you can see it affects the overlay light and i'll also change the image light let's change the left light also to something purplish i'll quickly undo this and show you other ways by which you can change these light elements before you go over here we have some light blue and shadow cast elements this creates more toning and glow over the white areas highlights glow if you have a whiter image this uh, glow elements might appear uh, more bright so you can simply lower the obesity i have image with a good contrast balance so i'll keep them uh, shown to 100 percent next we have glow toning you can also change the opacity i'll keep it to 80 percent next we have image toning and adjustments over here we have image levels you can change the levels we have increased contrast just adjust opacity to intensify the dark areas and brighten up the white areas next we have gradient fill overlay show this one and you can change the gradient color you can also change the angle scale up and down reverse you can make all uh, general adjustments for the gradient fill there next we have our quick hue saturation we can change the hue over here to quickly change the double light colors
Next, we have 20 color effects. Simply, you can simply show and hide. Next we have overall adjustments, you can change the overall levels, overall brightness, and contrast, overall curves, We have our overall gradient map. Our overall gradient fill. And our overall solid color overlay. You can simply uh, remove this folder and you can again run the action. If you want a different smoke effect. Okay, so that's it pretty much for the Dual Light Photoshop action. Hope you like it. See you soon.